What's going on, everybody? This is going to be probably a pretty long stream. Um, there's been a new patch for EPTU uh, Alpha 3.23. So that was a good time to kind of start from scratch, make a nice long gameplay video, um, likely upload this later in little snippets on YouTube showing like the cust character customizer and some of the new features. We'll probably do some clips and Honestly, it's mostly just an afternoon hangout, trying out some new content and some bug fixes. Uh, they've done a lot of fixes to stuff that's wrong in, in 3.23. I don't think it's ready for live yet, but we're going to dive in. We're going to hang out. We're going to start playing around with this, and we'll we'll go from there. So the cool thing about this is that... It's going to actually give me the option to start the character customizer from scratch. Which is awesome. Because a lot of people haven't seen it yet. And so we're going to start with that. A couple guys tuning in already. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. So I can get my volume to work properly. There we go. Some cool music. Oh man. All right. Here goes nothing. Body type. We'll go male. DNA. You know, I didn't play with this on my first playthrough uh, in Wave 1, so I just kind of hit start at the first guy. So we're going to have uh, some fun with this. Let me think. I'm going to try to make it look a little bit like me. I'm, I'm a fairly tan dude. So let's go... I don't know. What's realistic here? I don't know. Maybe something like that. At least in the summertime. I get pretty freckly in the summer. We're going to try to make this as close to to me as possible. I also do definitely get sunspots. Yep, there we go. Eye color, my eyes are blue. They're actually super blue. There we go. Hair. Now I'm one of those people with no hair, but I want to give myself some cool hair. So let's this, this is a hairstyle that I would do if I if I had the option to do it. So we're going to do that. Facial hair. How do I go shorter on the beard? It's got to be an option to do like a, like a smaller beard, right? That's a bigger beard. Really? So the only options are medium beard or big beard. There's no just like stubble? It's got come on, there's gotta be something. That's a huge look at this. Look at that. I wish I could grow a beard like that. Looks like there's only like two options right now for beard length, so we'll have to kind of just go with that for now. Eyebrows, whatever. Alright. Natural color. So my hair's somewhere in this range here. This is cool, man. This is a super detailed character customizer, especially on a new patch. And these are going to save. So once you've built one of these on this patch coming out, 323, you can just hit the save button and not go through this every time. Just upload it, unless you want to have multiples. I'm going to go with this. I'm not making my character bald. I'm bald in real life. Color. Beard color. No, nah, it doesn't need to be dyed. Oh my god. Santa Claus. I'm going to go like this. That's, that's not bad. A 
I don't know how people are like basing these off of things here. This is crazy detailed. Whoa, nope. Not too much of a change there. So you used to be able to choose like a starting point, and I'm not sure if you can still do that. Oh, I get it. Okay. So you can scroll through and find, like, for instance, like this guy's got like a really wide nose, and I do not. Wonder if that's closer. Yeah, that's gonna be close. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. All right. I don't see the mouth changing. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it is. All right, sweet. Let's go summer color on me. Getting some tan, some sunspots, some freckles. <clears throat> I mean, it's a thicker beard than I have right now, and it's more hair than I have right now, but it's, that's not bad. I feel like that's probably good enough for PTU. And we'll play with it more later. We'll do it on like a full playthrough when we do the live. That's not bad though. You can also set up facial recognition, I think. Let me just see if this works. Facial recognition, not active. Okay, got it. Interesting. Oh, that's makeup. So make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, that's just makeup. I don't need that. All right. Um, we're going to save this one. All right. And we'll skip the tutorial. Um, where do we want to start this time? Let's do... I wonder where most of the new distribution centers are. I almost always do Area 18 because it's so central. It might make sense to do Babbage this time and just fly up to Tressler. Ah, but Area 18 so, you know... I'm going to stick with what I know. I'm going to stick with Area 18. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting, too, because all the keybinds have changed and I have not memorized them yet. All right, here we are. Kiosks are here now. As far as I understand, these don't work yet. Ooh, Xeno threats up and running. Sweet. Okay, so they've added the kiosks. They've told us now that these are delayed. Um, so uh, if I stand back here, I'm pretty sure I saw something on the screen. They get close to it, disappears. So that just looks like test mode. So we'll just kind of leave that for now. 
Uh, we will hang out for a second though and just get some gear on because why not? I do have some subscriber gear that I can always pull from. Looks like inventory is not rendering though. Might just take a minute. There's also, uh, after a new patch, it does take some time for shaders and stuff to load in. And this is my first time using the Vulkan renderer, so we'll see how Vulkan performs and if there's this much lag throughout the play session. Just a reminder, this is EPTU. It's not, like, finished product at all. So everything you're seeing here flickering and stuff, it's not going to be in the finished product. Um, let's just put on some basic gear from my subscriber stuff. I forgot I had these bear helmets. Oh, well, we'll just do some basic stuff. I love the Arden set, actually. I don't like the arms. I don't know why, but I hate those arms so much. They're so puffy. Let's just, um... Let's just go without the arms for now. We don't need them. Weapons... And for everybody who missed the character customizer, we'll, we'll be doing it again when this goes live, so you didn't miss much. I'm going to spend more time on my character when it's when it matters. Let's um, let's do FS9. It's good enough for now. Med gun. You're not really worried about losing this stuff in... Well, I'm not really that worried about losing my stuff ever, but in PTU especially, it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, right, the interaction system's changed. Open F. Open F. Are you going to work? Huh. Okay. Door is not opening. One cool thing of note is that map in the upper left-hand corner. That's new. That's awesome. What I can't figure out is why... This door is not opening. That's not a good sign. This patch came out maybe 20 minutes ago, so it's not crazy that there's stuff wrong with it. But... Open. F. Open. Hold F. Click open. Not a good sign. Anybody else encountered this? Like, this is like my first time jumping into this newest patch. Let's check global. Nope, no one's talking about it. We might have to log out, log in. Now that we've done the character customizer, it should be fairly straightforward. But this is not functioning. Um... Hey, Akua. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 30 seconds. Like, I, I just logged in. Could also be the server. Let's just do a do a quick log. Let's go to menu and come back in. Because we haven't left the hab yet, so it's just going to spawn us right here anyway. This is the thing with PTU streams, guys. There's going to be issues and bugs, and that's why we kind of just hang out and chat while it's happening, because there's no predicting this stuff. Oh, why do I have bots in my chat? Come on, guys. All right, let's try this again. So who else has tried this out so far? Because I, I know... So anybody who hasn't tried PTU and you see all the bugs today, it's always a buggy mess. Like, it's not done. It actually says in all the disclaimers, like, not indicative of final play, tested, etc. So, hey, Atomic. So it's kind of... Um, it's just to be expected as part of the course. But hopefully we can get out of the hab, because that's going to cut this real short if we can't even leave our hab today. I'm just checking testing chat while I'm logging in. I'm not seeing anybody else talking about this, so... Interesting. Oh, there it is. Okay, a lot of people are experiencing this. Interesting. It seems to be server-dependent. Some servers is just not letting you. And they also recommend going straight for the door when you get up. Don't pause or wait or anything. So we're just going to do that. Ah, look at that. We're out. Okay, so there's some kind of bug with the time delay. I'm seeing issue council options popping up. People are saying that this is like already been reported. 
Has this guy called the elevator already? Doesn't look like it. He's just kind of standing here. Alright, well, we'll just wait for the elevator. There it is. Xenothreat. I like the new mission pop-up at the top. I like how it's kind of faded. It's, um... It's a little bit more minimal. It's not as invasive. This map is freaking phenomenal. Like, most of us have these, these landing areas memorized at this point anyway. But if we don't... This is great. Let's get a tractor beam. We won't carry much else. It's PTU. We're going to die soon anyway, or we're going to have issues. But let's um, let's just get a tractor beam just in case we need it, because we're going to go try a couple specific things. Tap F to use. That's pretty cool. Tractor beam. There's just some things you always want to carry with you. I have heard that interactions and purchasing are very lagged in PTU, and we're kind of seeing this here, so... Our multi tool. Got it. And you know what? Just in case we're out for a while, let's grab a cruise as well. Loving the mini map. Pretty good outside, uh, even though even then it's still usable. It's from pretty good outside of the DCs, and even then it's still usable. Uh, the distribution centers, you mean? I haven't actually tried that yet. I've been to the distribution centers uh, when it was an Evo, but I haven't actually like done anything in them because, from my understanding, it's pretty bugged. Uh, sustenance. Uh, you know, we should probably do what we're here. I mean, I, again, I know it's just a PTU patch, but we should probably make sure that we have a little bit of ammo just for the gun that I'm carrying here. I'm liking the new interaction system. This is cool. Boom. Let's just toss some ammo on. Minimap shows all floors at once in the distribution centers. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things like that before this goes live. Um, so the new interaction is pretty cool. Like, it works well. The problem here is just lag and delay. You know, I'm noticing something as we're streaming here together that my new restream setup is not displaying like proper Twitch information for me. What's this guy doing? How long is he going to walk in before he gives up? Twitch alerts. No, they should be showing up. Interesting. It wasn't notifying me when I had, like, um, new followers and new subscribers and stuff. It was just kind of being kind of strange. I'm not sure what's happening there. So if anybody does, like, a follower or subscribe in this and I don't call them out immediately, I apologize. I just seem to be having some uh, notification delays. You know what I should bring up here? I should see how my performance is with Vulcan on... I'm just going to put my stats kind of behind my camera there so it's not interfering with anybody else, but it's not phenomenal, to be honest. Damn it. Ah, that's always the way. Like, I'm getting about 30 FPS right now in Art Corp. Typically, city FPS isn't the best anyway, but I was expecting a bit better with Vulcan. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right, let's check out this new MOBA glass. Ooh. Anybody who hasn't seen this, this this is a sexy overlay. This I like this. We'll check it more on the train. Give me a second. I don't want to miss this again. I like how the train doors are highlighted. That's pretty cool. I am extremely hopeful that this ship data section in the future gives you things like unlock, open doors... Like, imagine driving your cyclone or something in and being able to open the doors remotely from here. This is going to be phenomenal. And the whole ability to set markers on the map and that sort of thing, we know that's going to give us the ability to set markers in space in the future. Which means, like, for instance, 
leaving your Carrick in a Pisces and marking the Carrick so you can jump back to it. That's going to be so good. What am I hearing? What's the beeping? I think someone was trying to call me or something. Oh, it's my BPM. Haha, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so we all know comms is still the old setup. They told us that was happening. That's fine. They're working on that still. Wallets. Okay. Vehicles we'll get to in a second. Contracts. We know Xeno Threat's on. I'll probably do that later once I've got a couple guys from my org who also have this access. Uh, so we can do it together. Medical Rescue. Just says initiator names. That's a bug there. It should say the person's name. Mercenary. Clear out trespassers. Okay, we'll get this in a second. Let's um let's get to the ships. There's a couple things I want to check here before we actually take a ship out of the station. I've seen some patch notes on edits and updates to ships that have me interested to see what they've changed. Stand clear. Doors are now closed. What is happening here? Did we just go through the floor? Ah, what is going on? What is this tram doing? Oh no! Okay, we're now in a sideways tram flying through the city. I am likely going to die here, but we're gonna just keep streaming this because this is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we're now flying through the city in a glitchy sideways tram. I wonder if this is the known bugs. I didn't read the list clearly enough. For the guys who don't play this game normally, this is just... This is what Wave 1 and 2 PTU is like. If it brings us up, I'm getting off this tram. We're getting off this tram. We'll take the next one. This is the Bevic Center for Special Events. Invictus from last year was here. And this is still here for some reason. I'm hoping they're leaving this here because they're going to put Invictus uh, 2954 here. It makes sense. Come on, train. All right, let's see if the next one works. At least you get some pretty good views up there. Yeah, fair enough. If it was daytime, that would have been phenomenal as I passed through those walls. What I've learned from PTU play is that many of the things that are wrong are just because the full code's not in. They're just testing certain features. So people will play like wave one, two, three, four PTU, and they'll say, oh my God, the trains still aren't working. This can't go live. It's so broken. And then it goes live and they're working fine um, because it's just not important for them to fix it in PTU. They're testing other things out. But it's still pretty funny when it happens. I had a bug in Alpha 319 where I visited a ground site in the EPTU and I landed my ship on nothingness. There was no ground. And I walked across, I got out of my ship and I walked across nothingness to this island of ground where the ground site I was going to was at, did the mission, and then walked back across nothingness to my ship. And it was the most surreal experience. All right, let's see if this one works. I'm really hoping this one works. Oh, it's not looking good. They're layering over each other. Oh, God. It's, it's just not a good sign for the trains. I'm really hoping this one works, but we may have to jump servers again because this is rough. Like, my FPS right now is 18, uh, which is not good. Latency is high. Um, again, PTU, but this may take a few tries. I was watching somebody else's stream this morning. Um, I usually tune into uh, my friend Space Tomato, like if I'm at the gym or something in the morning, because he streams really early. He's like, if you guys don't know him, really big streamer, phenomenal content. Um, and he couldn't get out of his hangar at Tressler for like 15 minutes or something. So he ended up having to like go out to the pads and just take another ship. 
because it was just brutal trying to get out. So if we can get to the ships, get out of the hangars and get somewhere, we'll go try some new stuff. If we can't, we might just switch to the live servers. We're going to play either way. It's Star Citizen. We're going to play. But I'm getting really bad FPS right now, and that sort of explains what's going on here. Come on. The door is... I could have just jumped out to, like, space there. Oh, come on. There we go. Get out. Okay, we're out. No, it's the wrong one. It took us back to our court plaza. Oh, guys. FPS is always bad. No, Panzer, my FPS is bad. Like, usually surfer FPS is low, but mine's usually 30, 40 in Art Corp. It's, like, 15 right now. Um... EPTU, Wave 2, like, you don't expect too much, but it's particularly bad right now. Fingers crossed on this one, if it gets us to the actual starport, you know, see what we can do. EPT, what do you expect? Yeah, lots I've been telling everybody. You know, it's good to get in and try new things. If we can actually get to space, we'll try some new stuff and we'll have a good time. But it's... I'm not even going to attempt Xeno Threat. They're running Xeno Threat in EPTU right now. So no wonder everything's tanking. But uh, if I can get to the final mission when... I'm not going to go try to participate. But if I can get there to kind of stream the interior of the Idris, that'd be cool. But for now, I'm just trying to get to the starport. A couple things I want to check on a couple of my ships that have changed. And then we're going to get the hell out of here. Okay, we're at the starport. We've escaped the train of purgatory. I want to start singing Hotel California. How long are we on that train for? Like 20 minutes? So Xenothreat will tank PU as well? Um, Xenothreat always tanks the PU. If you mean will, will Xenothreat running in the EPTU tank the, the PU right now? I don't think so. I think they run on different servers. Um, when it goes live, I, I hate to say it because I, I love this game, but the the... Xenothreat always tanks live when it's running. Here's more of the item banks, guys. They're not operational yet. They did tell us that they're not going to be in in 323. They're going to be like a little bit later. So like 323.1 or 0.2 or something like that. But this is where they are. If everyone remembers, this used to be where the ship terminals were. And they moved the ship terminals like two or three patches ago closer to the actual like hangar elevators. And everyone was like, why'd you do that? This is why. They were clearly planning ahead. So I like to see that. I like to see that there's a reason around things. I do speculate, though, with only six of these here, that it's going to get a little bit crowded when this goes live. But uh, they're also in the halves, so we'll see. I meant live. Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah, I, I, when it goes live, it will tank the servers. Yes, I, I'm just I'm speculating that now. Okay. So before we just get into something small and go out and see what we can do in space, I wanted to try something. You guys get to come do it with me. I saw something in the patch notes that some changes have been made to the Carrick. I'm not expecting too much, but I just want to see if my theory is correct that they've added something. Hey, Mark, how's it going, man? Answer, I'll be in the PU, catch you there. Yeah, man, I'll hop in the PU after this. I couldn't figure out why Mark was just saying hi to me in a talk, but I think it's because it's the only people who are watching on YouTube right now. I got a bunch more guys on Twitch right now. I wish that the chats carried over because I can see both on my end. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's just call it the care for a second, see something. Because I was told, or I saw in the patch notes, that they did something to the external elevator hatch. And I don't know what that means. Because there is no external elevator. So if they've added a button for an external elevator, it's very telling. All right. All right, are you going to open doors? No? Yes? No? Door lag is like old as the game itself. 
All right. So according to... There's a marker for the ramp. Okay. Docking collar. Okay. Airlocks. But they said something in the notes about panel passes on the external elevator hatch on the Carrick. And it doesn't currently have an external elevator. So I'm very curious if they've started the process of adding it. We're just going to take a look here. So the back elevator would be somewhere around here if it existed. It's at the very back of the ship. Is anybody seeing a patch like a panel here? Because I'm not. I'm not seeing a panel anywhere. Every ship's gonna get a rework before it goes live, but I was really hopeful there for a second when I saw that. But I, I think it was just um they may have meant the they may have meant just like the hangar access at the front. We'll find out. Did they change something on this? No. No, no change. That's unfortunate. Is it just me or does that feel faster to you guys? Is that what they meant? Did they update the speed of the hatch opening? Let's tap this and see. Oh, that's definitely faster. Interesting. So we know that modularity is now working in the game. So it's it is functional in the game and it's going to be added to the um retaliator first, but hopefully these carrot pod doors open soon. I always check them in the EP2 to see if they're working. Hey Panzer, if you're still watching, you fly the carrot sometimes. Tell me something here, man. If I hit open door here, does this door feel faster to you? Like, twice the speed? Because I think they've increased the speed on this door. I'm not even, like, questioning it anymore. That's way faster. So when they said did a pass on the external elevator on the Carrick, I think they meant hangar door. But, like, that's that's got to be twice the speed. Okay, that's a nice. All right, I, I'm I'm still hoping for the rework with the pod doors in the elevator, but that's still a nice touch. It's harder for someone to just board your ship without you knowing it. All right, let's get something smaller and go try some stuff out together. Hopefully, FPS increases as we get out of the station, if we can get out of the station. Doors are not opening on their own here. What was that? Little Mark just followed. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I moved my notification, so I'm literally like, what, what was that sound? What was that just happened? It's like a sparkling heart on my screen or something. That was cool, man. Okay, let's... Um, we're not going to bother putting any parts on ships. But let's put a paint, because why not? And then GTFO. Libraries. Iron scale. Equip. It's not showing the preview here. That was in the known bugs list that these previews aren't showing right now. I think we can live without that. Put a stopwatch 9 in the EPTU. We can compare to the PTU. PTU. Yeah. We'll do that in a bit. I, I mean, I'm 100% sure that's faster. For now, I just want to get free of this station because this is this is rough. This whole tap F to interact thing is really handy. Like it's way faster in certain circumstances. You still gotta like use your mouse wheel to do that, but there she is. You know, I'm not usually a fighter guy, but this little fighter's growing on me, and I'm actually really excited to see what the um the military variant that we're getting for completing overdrive is going to be like. 
Enter pilot seat. So they said that the new interaction system, I, I thought they said it wasn't fully in, but like it seems to be here. I'm just hoping my keybinds carried over. I, I did copy the file, but we'll see what happens. So they definitely changed some binds here. Oh, my custom binds did not carry over. Damn, okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I gotta use the new binds until this goes live and my custom binds kick in. Why do I only have two guns showing there? Oh, because it's stock, right. The civilian variant only has two guns stock, and then you have to upgrade it. That's fine. We're not gonna we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, no custom binds. Alright. Hmm. There we go. So they've definitely changed some stuff here as far as the interface. And if you guys are looking at the right-hand side there, right here, it looks like some stuff is cut off. Like I'm not seeing a couple of my details. That's probably just a visual bug, PTU. Um, we'll figure it out. Also, can't seem to take off. Now, why would we not be able to take off? Try engines again. Okay, yeah, so stock bindings are going to make this really bad for me. This is going to be embarrassing. So that means that cruise control is probably not stock either. Okay. Well, I'll muddle through it. I have all these kind of custom gamepad bindings set up, and unfortunately they're not going to work. Quantum drive spooling. Shifts must fully, fully spool their quantum drive in order to... Okay, so the whole map system is different. The combat system is different. The gun keybinds are different. This is going to be... I'm going to say fun for now. But re realistically, this is going to be embarrassing. Okay, so SCM speed, we have access to guns. What is that doing? Oh, that's the zoom mode now. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be... Uh... It's going to be a learning curve, guys. It's going to be a big learning curve, these new controls. I don't mind it. I know a lot of guys are complaining about cha the changes and stuff. Like, There's nothing wrong with change in an alpha game. It's, it's not the finished game. But I have no idea what to press for half the controls here. B is not bringing up quantum, so we're going to need to figure out the new keybinds there. Max speed mouse wheel, yeah. Master mode toggle is B. Okay, so that's nav mode. Ooh, yeah, we're going to remap all these. Don't let Panther get shipped towards Y. Oh, this is cool. So you're in travel mode and you're automatically spooled. Your max speed increases with master modes. And if you decide to... How do you engage it? Just hold B again or tap B? No, that's SCM mode. All right, spooling. Come on, game. Tell me the new keybind for actually jumping. QT engage. Left click. Okay. I can try to get used to that. So, just subscribe. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's drop out of quantum and see what happens. Okay, we're now out of quantum. Don't let Panther don't let Panther give ship tours. Why? 
Okay. So this is going to be... Christ, this is going to be interesting. Like, every binding has changed. Like, usually I would tap B to kind of move quickly through things. Speed limiter is now changed. Hmm. All right, well, let's find a mission and so, I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Defense site, clear out site, clear cam, flame jumpers, defense site. I'm not seeing any of the new ones yet. We'll play with that in a minute. Investigation, how about that? What can we do that sounds fun and also involves something new? Well, why don't we go to a bunker and see if that then prompts us to get our hands on some of the new distribution centers. Or, it's a possibility those are only showing up on Microtech, so why don't we do that? Because we can play with the new map while we're at it. You got you lost in the star, the star lift or Starliner? Oh, you mean the, um, the, Gemini, the Gemini? Yeah. I get lost in that ship all the time. Oh my god, the new map. Oh... If it sounds like I'm orgasming, I am. Like, look at this. Fuck everything else they've changed in this game. This is... so necessary. Like, look at this. Search locations. Microtech. Does clicking work? Double click. Hit E. What's the new command for actually jumping to it? Or is this just a bug right now? Interesting. It's not letting me click it. Okay, it's still exciting. But unfortunately, it looks like it might be a little buggy right now. Microtech, MicL2, where's actual Microtech? So the search function's not letting me click anything, which is interesting. I do not have enough fuel in this ship with a stock drive to get there. Unless, oh, they've changed the layout. So is this my current fuel or is this my current fuel? I think this is my current fuel and this is what it's going to take me. But to me, this is reading uh, that it's going to take 629 of 541. But then it wouldn't it be red? Oh, there it is right there, 541. Okay, so they have definitely changed it. Uh, okay, so we've mapped ourselves, we've routed. This will take some getting used to as well. Alright, so we close this. What's that beacon? I don't even know what that is. That's probably what I just mapped onto, isn't it? Alright. Change to nav mode. That's what I've locked on to. Microtech. And jump. Okay. So I can tell you when this goes to live, I'll be remapping most of these binds almost immediately. Like, so far it, it, it looks better, but they've changed so many binds that it's going to feel rough for a lot of people. So for instance, I'm going to change my master mode swipping, switching bind. There was a post uh, a couple days ago from Yogi in uh, Spectrum, and he was saying that there's, they're actually setting up a button where you just kind of click the middle mouse wheel, and it automatically switches you between your modes. I don't think that that's working yet. I've tried a couple times. But um, that's what's going to be the button to switch operator modes when it goes live. So that would be a little bit easier. I also typically fly with a gamepad and do ground stuff with mouse and keyboard. And so all of my, my keybinds on gamepad are not working in PTU, despite the fact that I copied them over. So when it goes live, I will have my keybinds. And then I can mess around with adding the new ones. Like, for instance, tapping... B usually brings up quantum drive for me in live on my gamepad. And so what I would do is I would remap that to switch, probably switch master modes. 
But I think all of us, when this goes, I'm not going to bother doing this in PTU, sitting and customizing all my binds. Let's just just try to get through it. When this goes live, I have a feeling that it'll be exactly like when 320 came out, a bunch of binds changed then too. I think a lot of us are just going to end up kind of sitting there for the first play session and playing with our binds. My recommendation is to do that in free fly in Arena Commander. So you go into Arena Commander, you go into free fly so that you're not trying to figure it out in the PU. And you just kind of sit there in a little private area and you just mess with your binds. It took me about an hour last time to redo them all so that they worked for me. I had to like figure out like what I wanted to set on my paddles, what I wanted to set on the upper buttons, what I wanted to set on the menus. But it did work out in the end and they work out well for me. But since so many of those have changed, we'll see what happens. And you, you guys know what it's like. You're like mid combat and then you find a button that you didn't change yet. So it's going to be muddling through. All this is going to take us to the stock drive. Does it not tell you? So 45.1 GM. Is it saying that like that's 44 million? Ah, I guess that is. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to take us a couple minutes. Let's play with this while we're on our way over there. Oh, it's still giving me shipped out on my Carrick. Interesting. I wonder why it's doing that. Maybe it's the last ship with an interior that you were in. Okay, notifications. Sweet. Xeno thread is up according to this. Where you are, if you have a crime stat, more environment stuff that's going to start mattering in the future, ship data, lots of personal data, an entire health app, which is going to start mattering in the future with um, medical gameplay. Comms is still the old layout. They told us that they're working on it. Contracts, much cleaner, but we're going to have to play with rememorizing where things are. Okay, map we've seen. Zoom out. Zoom in on oh, where we are, I'm guessing. Yeah. Journals been redone. I don't use that all that often. Assets. Okay, so assets is the new. What's it called in live right now? Knickknacks, which is the dumbest name for an app ever. Now it's just assets. Cool. So you can search your assets. Got it. Reputation. None right now. PTU. Wallet. Is not bringing up an amount. Should be right here. Little bug. Okay. Landing zone out is basically the same. Vehicles is the same. They haven't finished that one yet. Just like comms. But we're getting there. What we're going to do is we're going to fly to Microtech. We're going to get some fuel, and then we're going to try to track down a distribution center. Uh, we're going to try to find a mission that involves needing EVA, like maybe an 890 jump. And hopefully I don't die repeatedly to the fact that I have stock keybinds that are all changed. I'm hoping a couple of our guys log in tonight that have access to this because it'd be cool to try some group stuff in the PTU, but my gut tells me most guys don't. So we'll probably end up, you know, doing a bit of PTU until it gets frustrating with how crashy and buggy it is. And then we'll move on to the next thing. I'm going to, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, at some point switch off Vulcan and see what that does because I was expecting to have high, usually out here in the middle of nowhere, I have like, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 frames per second. Um, with Vulcan on, I'm getting 32 in deep space. I'm not sure why. Um, it's using less of my CPU than it usually does, and it's using more of my GPU, so Vulcan is clearly working. But does anybody know why that would give me lower FPS, or maybe that's just a PTU thing? Good little ship. I just wish I had more fuel. 
video memory possibly what do you mean by that i'm not super pc savvy i mean I, I got one i use it for work now i have obviously it's a gaming pc but i i'm not an expert on these I have PTU, I got up early for work. That's fair, man. I was more referencing some of the guys in, in like our Discord or something um, for now. Some guys who could jump in comms and hang out and it. Don't feel like I was shaming anybody who didn't have access or doesn't have time. You're relying more heavily on the GPU with Vulcan, I'm guessing. Plus you have 3070 Ti. Yeah, so I got a 3070 Ti for video, but my, my video card is probably better than my CPU. My CPU is like a fifth gen. And so... I figured if I switched it from uh, switched it to Vulcan and started utilizing more of my video card, that would actually increase my FPS, not lower it. I could always switch it back. But my understanding was that my video card was better than my CPU. And so that's why I wanted to try out Vulcan. Maybe that was the wrong move. I feel like there's some guys here who understand how these CPUs and GPUs work a lot better. What resolution do you play at? That's a good question. 2560 by 1440. And we're almost at Microtech. Let's see if we can figure out landing with all the new keybinds. 2K. I'm going to just let you finish your thought before I try to ask what you're saying, man. You and Panzer and Mayflower and some of the other guys who tune in regularly understand... PCs way better than I do. Keep in mind, when I originally started streaming before I took my big break, I um, I streamed on console. I got a Series X that I was playing Elite Dangerous on. And so, honestly, customizing PCs and stuff is super new to me. Buddy of mine understands it really well. He helped me build mine. I'm trying to learn it so I can modify my own. 2K, are you saying I should change mine to 2K resolution or that it's at 2K resolution? Full sentences would be helpful for me. Treat me like a child, man. All right. At Microtech. Now, our fuel gauge is not showing up on the right-hand side, which is a little frustrating. We're also completely frozen. It's at 2K right now. Okay, uh, let's give it a second because we are completely frozen dropping out of quantum, but I heard that this is like a bug that, that's happening right now. There we go. It's at 2K right now. Yeah, it's at 2K, yeah. Okay, so my keybinds are totally messed up, so we're going to switch to the mouse and keyboard and forget the sticks and the gamepad right now. Where is the station? You know what? Let's use the new map to figure this out and see how this works. Map, 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 map. Search. Is search going to work this time or is it going to bug out again? Come on, PTU. Don't fail me. It looks like search is just having issues. Oh, there we go. So you got to zoom out more for it to work. Port Tressler. Route. Did it route? It's not very clear. Looks like it did. They need to change that. It's, it's sort of um, unclear if that's routed. It should say like routing complete or make a sound or something. Okay, so now if I leave maps, which is not letting me leave maps, let's try hitting the X button. Did it give me a route to Tressler? Looks like it. Okay. This is some stuff to get used to. Yeah, so I guess I'm at 2K resolution right now. So whatever that means. Oh, uh, why does it always change my custom flight binds? That's really frustrating. And because we know the hangers aren't working properly, we're just going to land on a pad, if I can find one over here. Cancel makes it seem like it was routed. It does. You're right. Uh, it just I think it could be a little bit clearer before it's done. Maybe the last second input. Like, look how this the HUD's flashing. Like, this is not clearly not done. VRM is basically running your graphics card more important in new games. I don't know what my 
video RAM is. I'm sure I could check that. My understanding was the 3070 Ti was pretty solid, if not going to get a little bit aged soon. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh man, I'm going to get myself blown up here. You have 8 gigabytes. Okay, and I'm assuming that when it comes to video RAM, you're saying that's probably not enough for me to be using Vulkan. Ah, uh, stop changing my binds. Also, deploying my landing gear did not deploy my landing gear. There we go. Eight, most likely not. So what I'm concerned about then is if they switch to Vulcan by default, am I going to start having problems? Am I going to have to look at getting myself a new video card simply for Star Citizen? Oh, these new binds. That was rough. Um, that's my concern. Like, that's the only issue I have is... I shouldn't have to get new gear for one game. Because my PC can run every other game without a single issue. No problems whatsoever. Everything runs insanely smooth. Star Citizen being unoptimized gives me issues. Fair enough. Yeah, Volk is optimized yet, for sure. That should not be jumping like that. I'm just, I might have to switch it off. If I switch it off right now, it's going to restart the stream, so I'll leave it. But I'm getting super low FPS right now. Um, which is concerning me. So I might just switch it back to my CPU. Once they optimize it, hopefully it's better, but I usually get way better FPS than this, simply by having it on the old settings. But that's why it's an option to turn it on right now, because you're right, it's not optimized, it's not done. More item banks that aren't functional yet, we know that's going to be probably a 0.1 or 0.2 patch. Sorry, they said that it's going to be um, after 3.23 in a point patch. They didn't actually specify which one. That's me speculating. Stream might be too many GPU resources. That's possible. Yeah, I could always try switching it on and off when I'm streaming and not streaming. I didn't think of that. What we're going to do right now is now that we're at this station, we're just going to do a quick switch over and I'm going to just see if I can just turn it off. They did say become the sole renderer. Yes, they did say eventually it would once it's optimized and done. But for me right now, with it in beta, it is giving me issues uh, with my FPS. So we're going to... We're just going to restart the game really quick. Uh, turn off Vulcan and see if that just improves what I'm getting right now. If it even lets us quit because it's being super laggy in the PTU. And we'll see if this works better. Appreciate the tips, guys. I, I honestly, like, obviously I have a brain. Like, when you guys explain these things to me, I understand them. I do research on them. But I'm not, like, an expert. I'm not, I don't come from the PC Master Race. I come from console originally. But I always got to learn somewhere. If it turns out the Vulcan becomes a sole renderer and it starts giving me major drops because I have... See, my understanding of the 3070 Ti was that it's like still upper mid-range. It's not like it's top of the line, best of the best, but my understanding was that it was upper mid-range. You know, last end of the year or so. I also run a compact PC build, so if I end up needing to go with a bigger video card and a better CPU, I might also have to get a new case and expand my my whole setup. Because I'm running like a very minimal setup right now. Like my whole PC is twice the size of an Xbox Series X. So maybe I just need to wait until... Um, like the 50 whatever's come out and then go for like a 4070 or something um if it'll fit in my case and if not i gotta spend some money again i just what i don't want to start getting into is like having to upgrade my pc every two years for star citizen look i love the game i'll keep playing the game but like 
if I have to upgrade every couple of years just for one game, it's going to get really silly. Again, not optimized. My speculation is the game's going to go live in like two years anyway. They'll have this all finalized. They'll optimize it. They'll make it polished. I don't think when the game is done, because it's live service, it'll never be done. I don't think when the game is considered live, a finished product, not an alpha anymore, I don't think they're going to have much of a market if you require a 4090 to play the game. I... I just don't see that being a thing that they're going to do. So they will have to optimize it a lot more. Oh, are you kidding me? It put me back at Area 18. I flew all the way to Tressler. Okay, well, I turned off... Vulcan, at least. We'll see what happens. But now I'm all the way back here. That's frustrating. That's probably going to be something to do with Alpha. Sorry, not Alpha. With EPTU. It's probably just um, not registering where you stay. You'll definitely need to upgrade your system in the nearest future. And that's what I'm saying, man. Is like I'm more than happy to like upgrade every few years. Um, little, little things here and there. But I'm not willing... To play the game of you know three grand every two years to play star citizen that's the only point that i'm making is like they do need to opt i'm also playing an eptu on beta tested stuff like it's it's fine but they need to keep in mind that not everybody's gonna be willing to do that when this game goes mainstream and i truly believe it will they're gonna have to take into account that most people are not running top of the line builds they're just not. They're, they're using store-bought builds, and the game has to work for them. Uh, I got 32 gigs. I'm fine for RAM. Like, honestly, I have, I have a good setup. I just clearly don't have enough video RAM to run um, Vulcan at the moment. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, DDR5, I think I have, actually. I'll double check, but I, I don't think I have DDR4. I've had this build for about two and a half, maybe three years. So my buddy who helped me build it told me that in about three years, I would need to consider upgrading. You just got to keep in mind that I come from the world of console gaming before I had this. And so console, it's like you buy your Xbox Series X and you're good for 10 years of games. Everything's optimized, right? For console. So this idea of having to spend, you know, a month's mortgage upgrading my PC every three years pisses me off. Uh, all my specs, so if you're in our Discord, Soul, um, go to the gaming tab and look through the forums. One of them is um, like system builds and info help, something along those lines. I know I've posted up my build in there a few times with guys who have been chatting about their builds or whatever. It's a good place for you to chat if you're really into that kind of thing. Mayflower, Panzer... Uh, Silas, all of them are really, really into what you're into, and you'll have some great conversations in there. And those of us like myself who are kind of learning the whole PC building thing, we learn a lot from those conversations. But I know I've posted my entire specs in there several times to have these conversations because I just don't understand it. Oh, I just moved from that CPU. Yeah, like my CPU, it's, my understanding is it's fifth gen. It's not obsolete. It's just getting a bit older. Um, my 3070 Ti is, is, is not antiquated. It's just older. It's like running around with like an iPhone 6 or 7. It's going to work just fine. Just maybe not run the hottest stuff. I have DDR4. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, yeah, so I'm just not keen on spending a couple grand this soon. You know, in my eyes, if I can buy an $800 Xbox, everything's optimized for it, and it runs for five to 10 years with no changes. I get mildly irritated that I might have to spend another couple grand on my PC. Because now I'm being told by people that my CPU and my GPU are getting a little bit older. The two of those combined is like, what, two grand to replace them for something good? Like, it's just silly. In my opinion, I know you guys are really into this kind of stuff, but I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. You don't need to occur two years. But that's just it, man. Like, I, I got this set up three years ago. And so if I can't handle Vulcan when it comes out fully, that will mean that I would have had to upgrade you know, within three years. 
I'm also getting a lot of stutter right now without Vulcan on. I was getting none with Vulcan. This is interesting. Like my FPS with Vulcan off is is good. I'm getting like 60 FPS here at the at the port. All right, what should we fly? Because now the freaking Hornets all the way over at Tressler. Let's um. Yeah, we'll go in the Harbinger. Hangar one. 3070 Ti is an upper mid-range GPU. Absolutely right. VRAM is definitely more important. Newer GPUs are coming out now with 24 gigs of VRAM. Our GPU usage. Right. Um, better performance once they've optimized. Yeah, of course. Vulcan's literally in beta testing in an alpha game. I'm always the biggest proponent of, like, don't expect the game to be like this when it goes live. Like, you guys are both 100% correct. Um... But it'd be good for me to figure out because like, for instance the 4090s they don't fit my 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 case i have a smaller case and those are bigger carts so it starts getting a little frustrating thinking if i want to upgrade my video card i might need to also get a new case it just becomes sort of like a an, an endless cycle i hate the door on the vanguard so much there we go You won't need a 4090. People get 40 4K resolution. Um, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm on I'm on a 1440. You know, like what what car would I upgrade a 3070 Ti to that's a similar size? 3090? Isn't the whole 4000 series just way bigger? Forty seventy Ti Super, for example, but is it only the forty ninety that's bigger, or is the forty seventy also bigger? Those will fit. Okay, cool. Good to know. What's the um, what's the video RAM like on a forty seventy Ti? Forty seventy Ti might be time for me to look into something like that. You know, as long as my CPU can handle it. Cruise control working? Yes, it is working. Okay, sweet. Check the VRAM. You know what I'll do? I'll check how much they cost. Good old Amazon. Although I'm sure Best Buy has some deals too. 4070 Ti Super. Thousand bucks. About a grand. A little bit under. holidays or special events yeah and also like isn't there supposed to be like a 50 series coming out fairly soon like if i could push a little bit longer like another half year or something or a year i bet they'll go down in price even more let's see what we have over here if it's not going to let us maintain our spawn over there i'm hoping there's some of those new bases over here care about ray tracing five thousand there's a not particularly it looks cool, but not particularly. And if the 5000 series is soonish, then that tells me that the 4000s are probably going to go down in price. So there'll probably be sales deals on them around that time. And you know what? Maybe three years is enough time. But I'm wondering if my CPU can handle the better GPU. Consider AMD. Isn't that what I have? No, I've got an NVIDIA. I'll also ask my buddy help me build it, because he's going to have to help me install it. I have no goddamn clue how to do that. I managed to swap out my RAM, but we'll see. CPU is a bottleneck. And this is this is what I was saying, is like everyone's basically saying, well, you'll have to upgrade both. It's like, I don't want to upgrade both. This is a silly expenditure. Um, I'm trying to see... Sakura Sun Magnolia Work Center. Is that one of the new distribution centers? This sounds like might be one of the new missions. 
Hmm. Let's see if we can figure this out. Do one piece at a time. Yeah, so what do you recommend? The video card or... The... Sorry, the CPU or the GPU? GPU for... Get a new CPU member or mother combo. Ah. I'm going to have to ask my buddy who helped me build this and I put something together and what he recommends. See, he's the guy who keeps telling me, like, you don't need to worry about that yet. You're fine. Oh, did that contract get snagged? I thought I had it. Operations Depot. That could also be one of the new ones. I can't tell what the new missions are. Also, the missions are... Oh, wait, they're both there now. Okay, let's try this. This is tracked. I can't tell, but this is a 100, 134,000 credit mission. Like, I'm hoping this is one of the new ones. It's sending me to Hurston. So we'll see what happens here. Shields are powering down because we're jumping to Quantum. We're ready to jump. He's right behind the kind of performance. And that's exactly it, dude. It's like, I my system can still handle the game. But if I want higher FPS, I might have to upgrade soon, especially running Vulcan. I, I understand that. My hope, though, is that Vulcan starts to get optimized. Because right now, I guess the game's very CPU-dependent. If it switches to GPU-dependent, my GPU's not good enough and I can't run it. I like the game enough. I'm going to upgrade. I just don't, you know, who wants to slap two, three grand on their credit card for an upgrade that they don't technically need except for one game? The real problem is that lowered settings don't have, doesn't have an SC right now. It kind of does. It does. If, if you if you lower from very high to medium on, say, clouds, I always know it's an FPS improvement. So with Vulcan on, I was getting about 30 FPS in open space like this. I'm getting over 60 right now. So it's definitely, but I'm wondering if that's going to get better as they optimize it. You know, maybe Vulcan will be fine for me. I, I I don't know. Vulcan's also literally in the early testing stages. It might not even make it into the live build. I'm pretty sure this is one of the new missions we're going to. This should be cool. I just hope there's no like space combat until it's on like I'm trying to avoid that right now because the binds are all changed. Well, you say I'll be fine, but if I'm running 30 FPS in combat, it's going to suck, dude. All right, we're almost at Hurston. This thing is a decent drive stock. What's funny is I don't actually have this ship pledged. I have the Polaris pledged for our org when it comes out, and my loners for the Polaris is the Hammerhead and the, and the Harbinger. So technically I have a Harbinger right now. All right. This is a bug right now. When you drop out of Quantum, you're frozen for like 30 seconds. I think we're cooling. We are cooling. All right. Where does it say you're in cooldown anywhere now? Or is it just red? It's just red. They got to add some kind of markers. Unless I was missing it. This is a 137,000 credit bounty on the ground at something called the Work Center. I think this is probably um, one of the new centers, one of the new distribution centers. DJ wants us to hawk fuel the people in Pyro. I mean, for anybody who played Elite Dangerous, there was a group called the Fuel Rats. And all they, they built a website and they built like a call center and you could jump in and be like, I'm out of fuel in Elite, I'm stranded in this system, and they would bring you fuel. I think that there's a lot of solo guys out there who bought a Starfarer that won't be able to run it themselves. That they're not understanding with engineering the way the game's going, it's not going to work for them solo. But I think every group should have one, and I bet there's a group like the Fuel Rats, if it's not just the Fuel Rats, who will be able to have these big operations. That, like, I think there's going to be... Whoa, what's happening? Why are we dropping? Come on. Oh my God, this is going to kill us. 
There we go. We're covered. Um, I think there will be groups like the Fuel Rats who do nothing but fueling, and they'll have lots of those out there. But the big thing is going to be every org should probably have one. Like, we should have a Starfare as soon as we can, so that if somebody go runs out of fuel, they can jump in our own Discord, and we can go help them. I think that relying on groups who do it is going to be dangerous. Oh, yeah, this is definitely... All right, lowering speed. Speed drops precipitously when you... So you have to, like... To be in nav mode, which I hope they add the keybind for soon, you slow down a lot. Yeah, this looks like, like a distribution center to me. Let's hope there's no turrets, because... <laughs> I can't do combat with this this new um, keybind setup because my custom binds didn't carry over. Okay, we're going to go explore this distribution center and hope for the best. This will be a very slow, lame landing because I don't know these new binds. Are there landing pads somewhere? Like, do I have to get out this far away? I'm not seeing any pads here. There was something in the notes about um, landing pads not having proper clipping. But I'm not seeing landing pads at all here. Oh, that looks like one there. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to land this over here because it was literally saying in the notes that those don't have proper collision. That your ship will fall right through it. So we're just going to do this like we're going to land on the ground over here. They'll fix these, I'm sure of it. All right. How's master modes feeling? Um, there's a lot of new binds, and like I just said, custom ones aren't um, carrying over. So it doesn't feel great to me right now because I don't have the control that I'm used to. But um, we're gonna we're gonna feel it out. My FPS over here just tanked for a second. It's picking up again though. These are new. Anybody who has not played a new site in this game before. They are always super buggy at first. They will always be laggy. Ghost Hollow was laggy. Whistler's Crypt was laggy. This is going to start giving us reasons for bigger ships and crews, though. Because if you could land the Corsair there and have guys drive out of a vehicle in the back, this would be a lot faster moving around. But I kind of just want to explore here anyway. Okay, what's the new bind for switching weapons? Oh, shit! What the heck are the new binds? Ah, uh, I don't know the new weapon binds. Okay, multi tool. Come on, what's the new gun bind? No, it's not anymore. They changed it. This is gonna get me killed for sure. Checking this right now, but let's just check and see if they changed it too. Interaction wheel. It's literally not giving me the weapon wheel option like it's supposed to. Who is shooting me? There's nobody there. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm not putting on rescue beacon. It was backspace. We gotta figure out these new keybinds, because that's gonna happen to a lot of us when this goes live if we don't figure them out now. Backspace. Hold backspace. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
All right, what are the new keybinds? Let's figure this out. And now I'm at Microtech. And like, this is... It won't be like this live, but this is super buggy. Uh, new 3.23 FPS keybinds. I'm going to post these in our Discord as well when I find them. New keybinds. Keybind changes. Okay, let's figure these out right now. Um, April 10th, bind changes. Well, that's just not true. It said primary weapons is one and two. It didn't pull my pistol or my... So they haven't changed the ones to pull your weapons. They just weren't functioning. Well, that's good to know. Oh, restraint. All right, well, let's grab a basic gun and head back over there. I did. I had a uh, FS9 on my back, and I had an arc light on my hip. I double-checked when I was going in. They just were refusing to pull out. I did see something in the uh, patch notes that there's some kind of armistice bug going on right now, where it's not letting you... I'm just reading it right now as I'm kind of doing this, that apparently there's a global armistice bug going on, where... Uh, yeah... Here's to have global armistice in many areas. Yeah. Oh, we're frozen. So guns are not functioning properly in many places right now. That wasn't just me. That's that's everywhere. Interesting. Visual shopping. Give me a full set of armor, please. Bye. Hold F. No, I want the whole set. This is the new shopping setup, but I'm not sure about why it's better. So if there's global armistice going on, then this mission is just not going to be possible to do then. Unfortunately. Shops are a little leggy too. All right, let's look into this right now. I'm going to go back for that body in a minute. So if I double check on Spectrum, I'm just going to bring it up right now before we leave the area and see if this is still showing up as an issue. Also, apparently the flashing of the HUD we were seeing, that's just Vulcan in general. It's doing it for everybody. Um, 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 okay, let's just check and see what people are saying in testing chat. Cannot draw weapons anywhere, even when being shot in mission. Let's see what people are saying. I'm going to guess that that's what it, that, that that's still showing up. Wonder how AC flies in this version. Well, we'll find out. I like that there's private duels now. I 
I'm just giving people a second to answer here in testing chat and see what they say. But I, I, I'm going to guess that that's because I saw that that bug was happening earlier today. Then a patch happened. I assume they were working on it, but I heard Pirate Storm now has three capital ships at the end, but I can't go in and confirm it. I'll take a look. Um, I know that they changed out the Idris at the end, I believe, to a Bengal. Um, we'll definitely take a look at that. I'm not getting responses here from testing, but I think that's what was happening. I think that, that that bug is still happening, and so we can't draw weapons to defend ourselves when we're in those places. So that's going to mean that we can't really test the new distribution centers. Um, which is sad, because that, that looked cool. When that goes live, I hope that's working properly. Of course, they'll fix a global armistice issue, but... 138k for a starting mission to fight multiple waves of enemies in a distribution center sounds like a crap ton of fun to me. Just redeem, drink some water. That's a good call, buddy. Okay, well, what are we getting in this time? Because now we gotta fly somewhere else and find something else to do. I'm not gonna bother going back for that stuff because it's PTU, so whatever. Fly around the reclaimer. That'd be funny. No, we're just gonna call over. I don't really feel like flying the Corsair around right now because it's gonna be kind of clunky landing taking off so much. Let's just get into Pisces and just stay over here. I love my Corsair, but I it's I, I don't have my keybinds working in this. It's gonna be very frustrating to fly, I think. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get into Pisces. We're also not going to fly back to that mission because it's so bugged out. Okay, markers. Pisces is in Hangar 3. The new markers are cool. The new map is cool, but um, this takes a lot of getting used to. Do 10 push-ups or dips. Ah, All right, man. Ooh, there's a lot of lag going on here. I moved to dual flight sticks two days ago. That's cool. My current office setup won't really allow me to do that, but um, it sounds really cool. Okay, being able to tap F to close basically all doors is phenomenal. Even though it's like laggy as crap in here right now. Uh, Folo told me to do push-ups, so here we go. The great thing about these ones is they force me to move when I'm gaming. So you put drink water, do push-ups, stuff like that. It's like nothing negative about the things that I have to do for my things. What I want to try is something in EVA. That's what I've been trying to find. So a couple things here. Space flight combat today in master modes is going to be really hard to show. because of reasons it's gonna just be the key binds not working properly all these things distribution centers we flew to one we looked around but armistice is global right now so we can't draw a gun to do the mission so that's frustrating um what do we have that has eva that we can do or we could literally just go float around an EVA. That could be cool too. Caterpillar. What about one of the... Oh, distribution center. Oh, there we go. Missing person or distribution center. We could go do that. Because it's probably not going to have combat. Let's try that out.
as much as I said this stream is going to be all EPTU, at some point I'm going to be switching to the live because this is this is buggy. This is really buggy. I wouldn't panic too much. It's not going to stay like this going live. But it is going to be frustrating for trying to play or show it tonight. But we'll keep the stream going. We'll just uh, we'll just we'll switch to live at some point. Where is the mission marker? Why do I have no mission marker? Is it this one? Let's check the contract. No, nope, we can't do that one because combat's not working. Missing. Oh, so even this one, there we go. Microtech. Tracking. Kovalek Center DC05. Wait, so why are we not getting a mission marker here? Am I just missing the little blue box or is it just because of the new HUD? Well, actually, what am I thinking? There's the new map. Contracts. Can we just... Can we just click on it to, like, map to it? No, we can't. Okay. S4DCO5. Let's try this. S4DCO5. Routing not available. Why is routing not available? Cannot jump to it. No, it's on micro. Oh, there it is right there. But why can't we jump to it? I don't understand the reasoning here. So the mission marker is not showing up. That's one thing. Lobby marker just showed up. That's fine. But now it's also telling me we can't map to it. That's probably just... I bet you if we read the patch notes, it's something in there. Let's figure this out right now. Updates. Let's let's look at the known bugs. I bet I just didn't read them closely enough and it's in there. Known issues. New loot menus not working. Hangers and landing pads at distribution centers not having proper collision. Transits off. We saw that one. Um, transit, transit, transit. Panels are not becoming responsive. We had that with the hab when we came in. I'm not seeing this bug, but I know I saw people talking about it. Oh, because they said they fixed it. Okay, well... We'll keep an eye on it. It's just a PTU patch. Let's go see if we can just check one of these out without being fired on and not being able to defend ourselves. It's on Microtech, I think. No, it's definitely on Microtech. It's just the marker wasn't showing up and it wasn't letting us map to it. But we got it working. Okay, so it wasn't just Vulcan and it's not just me because I'm now right now I'm running at 7 FPS. That's just PTU. But I bet you we switched to live and it picks up like crazy. All right, how's this going to work? Is that another ship? That is another ship. Look at the size of these things. This is insane.
Okay, so can we land here? I don't know the answer to this. Another player has a mission here, which is really cool. Bear with my landing here. They've changed all my keybinds on me. High armor ships become really useful, dude, when the uh, Maelstrom engine comes in and armor starts to matter more. Alright, well, let us land. FPS picked up a little bit, so that's good. Yeah, definitely can't draw guns here. And we are not in an armistice zone as far as I know. Maybe this one is. The last one wasn't. We were being fired on the last one, and there was there was armistice there that shouldn't have been there. So it is a known bug. Okay, let's try this new map out. So how do we get to the lobby? Click there. Set route. We hold it. Super laggy. Okay, so routing did not work properly there, but I think I can figure this out myself. C clears the route. All right, we'll try that. But I think we already have one set. It's just not giving us the walking directions it's supposed to. It's also playing combat music, which is concerning me. No selection point on that. That's weird. Okay, so we're searching last known locations of our buddy here. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. Why is this mission to search for his last known location at an active ground site? Like, couldn't the people who live and work here look for him? Like, this isn't a derelict site. I want derelict ones of these. Like, imagine finding one of these in Pyro that has, like, wear and tear, it's partially destroyed, it's taken over by animals and ivy and pirates and all this stuff. Um, that's going to get super cool. Like, searching a derelict site like this would be really fun and immersive. But searching for a missing person at a distribution center feels weird to me. I'm trying to find how to get to one of these markers, but it... Oh, what's this? Is this open? Looks like it does, but where's the selection point for it? Back up, back up, back up. No. How far away do I have to get for this to select? Maybe it's just busted. But this is definitely an entrance. This is one of the new distribution centers. It's just uh, very, very buggy, very laggy. We're getting there. This is like a hidden entrance, and I think one of the guys I'm supposed to look for is, is behind there, but it's not opening. We're going to try the other side. Is there one of those panels over here? And if so, does it work? Okay, hitting control doesn't crouch anymore. It, it, it lays down. I'm wondering what the control is for just crouch. They definitely changed a lot of them. Okay, so these are not opening. They're supposed to, but I can't look for this body in there because it's not opening. I'm going to bet that that's in the patch notes as well. Let's take a look and see. Um, known bugs. Hidden panels become unresponsive after highlighting interactables. Okay, so it's a known bug at least. That's That's something. As far as the new keybinds, let's see. Flight, keyboard and mouse, flight, targeting. I know there's a bunch of on-foot ones that changed. 
Crouch is now C. As opposed to control. Like, I don't... I don't understand why that change. So we're going to have to remap a lot of these things, like I was saying. Once the game kind of... Once this goes out into live, we're going to have to remap a bunch of stuff. Because, like, I'm so used to hitting control. Like, I don't understand why control is now prone. Unless... Because it was... I think it was hold X before. So is X something new now? Is that why? I'm not seeing anything when I hit it, but it could be because of the whole armistice thing going on that I'm not pulling something out. Like maybe X is drawing a weapon now or something. Alright, well, let's explore a little bit. C is a common key. It is, but it was already control, so I'm probably just going to remap mine to that. For control. Well, I'm just so used to just hit move my pinky over and it's right there. There's something ominous about this very nice music playing, as I know there's a dead guy down here somewhere. This is giving me, like, Bioshock vibes. I do not know how to get to some of these points. I'm trying to figure it out, but... Oh, is that a pan? It's so all of oh that one's opening. Let's see, last known locate. Oh, is this him? Found him. Okay, so he's behind a hidden panel, and nobody who works and lives here could find him. That just seems like poor management to me. What's down here? These new bases are huge. Like, if there was combat down here? Maintenance corridor. Are these actual loot boxes, or are these... They are. You have found a harvestable item, but... Oh, that said something. You have found a harvestable item, but you don't have an armor with an inventory equipped. You can't store us without inventory. But I have chest armor on. What? What are you talking about? Do I need a backpack to loot this? That's frustrating. Open the container. Okay, so there's that's a glitch. It's not opening the loot. But, good thing to know. You find these sites, you go downstairs, you go searching through like the, the maintenance hatchways and stuff, and there's actually... There's all kinds of hidden stuff down here. Missions in these are going to be incredibly cool. Can I take weapons out yet? Nope. Literally, I can do nothing to defend myself if anything goes wrong down here. Can I open this one? No. Okay, is this a known bug right now then? Like, is this is looting still busted in this one? I'm just checking again. Known bugs. New loot menu does not... Okay, so this is a known bug. Okay, well, at least it's known. There will be so many more of these patches over the next couple of weeks anyway. What is this? Is this an engineering panel? Oh, there might be engineering missions. Right? Like if they're like, oh, this place is under attack. Our guys are busy. They're overheating. They're hacking. There's actually panels here for engineering, it looks like. That's speculation, but like, come on. What does this look like to you? That's an engineering panel. And there's more of them, too. And they're all interactable. Can I interact with any of these boxes? Like, come on. Ah. It's telling me that I don't have any inventory, but I clearly have, like, inventory right here. So that's just obviously a glitch of some kind. It is in the known bugs. wonder how long until we can actually open this and store bodies in them or something. Like Hitman style. Uh, 
I got to admit, this is highly enjoyable, even without the mission working, but like the combat missions working. But if this was a combat mission and you could sneak around, like, you know, be behind cover, silenced weapons, corridor to corridor. This is going to get real fun when these start to work properly. All they have to do is fix the whole armistice issue. And this would be like that last mission paid really well. That was a tier one, no reputation mission. 137 grand to go kill out multiple levels, uh, clear out multiple levels of a base. So you could start the game with two buddies and go start making money right away. What's all this? Can I take any of this? No. Coffee maker. Mugs. Screens. This looks like bunks. The leg's pretty bad. It's not just the stream. This is, it's just laggy right now. Okay, main lobby. Let's just keep exploring this base. Like, there's no more mission here, but let's see what's going on here. Excuse me, gentlemen. You had a dead guy in one of your conduits. Why did you not go help him? Security control room. This is an elevator to somewhere that is not... Functional. I'm not going to stand in that because something's going to go wrong. Elevator lobby. Where can you go? Security checkpoint one, security checkpoint two. All right, we have to go see if they kill me at security checkpoint. Awesome security checkpoint, guys. I'm guessing this is going to be a trespass zone. But imagine a combat mission down here. We've seen those in the trailers. This is where those FPS missions can happen. This would be so incredibly fun for a group of three or four to clear out. Three, 400,000 credit mission to clear out, you know, 50 hostels in an area like this that are all moving and reacting with the new AI. This is going to be absolutely insane. Can I open any of you? Nope. Lasai. Like, and then imagine them adding stuff in in the future. Like, um, picture Starfield. You find one of these bases in the atlas system that's derelict and no longer running it's pitch black it's creepy there's animals and aliens inside you find your way downstairs and pirates have holed up and made it into a base you kill the pirates you have a bounty for one of them maybe or you just find the place and sitting there on the pad is a cutlass you can't keep the cutlass but you steal it all of its cargo you go sell the stuff then you go land it at a scrapyard and you sell that ship for salvage no man's sky has that starfield has that um elite never quite got to that but if they added the ability we know we'll eventually have the ability to sell ships in game we know that's coming at some point they've talked about it many many times where you'd be able to like buy a ship picture buying like the python and elite dangerous and you want to get to the anaconda so you save money for a bit then you trade in the python plus money for the anaconda so that'll be a thing cool um but imagine you could, I'm hoping, it kind of makes sense to me, if No Man's Sky can do it, these guys can do it, that we'd be able to eventually find cool hidden ships and gear in a place like this, in a derelict station in an old settlement somewhere, with like Van Duel wandering the corridors, and you fight your way through, and you find a ship that you can take and go sell for a couple million. More loot boxes. These are just not working properly. Uh, the, loot, the loot system is kind of busted right now. But uh, there are boxes hidden throughout here for anybody who's wondering. When you go back to your ship, can you show master modes a bit? I can try. Uh, they've reset all the binds, so flying your ship is really fucking difficult right now. But I will. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. There's going to be a lot of redoing your binds when this goes live, and I'm not bothering to redo them until this goes live. I'm not going to redo all my binds for. Um, 
What's this? That's a consignment box. So there's going to be consignment missions down here too. Oh, imagine trying to hold this location down in a consignment mission. Okay, I know it's buggy. I know it's laggy. I know it's not functioning properly, but like... Dear God. I love this. I freaking love these sites. This is so cool. NPCs are working. They're doing their jobs. I have no idea how to get back to my ship. Let's, uh, let's try the new map. Might be good to try it in Pirate Swarm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll still show you the basics uh, momentarily here, but... I'll just redeem drink some water. Yeah, again, good call, man. Okay, where's my ship? Uh-oh. Where's my ship? That's Microtech. Anvil C8 pilot. Oh, it's right there. All right, set route. Place pin? Why can I not? Is the map just not working properly yet? Like, why can't I place a pin to map myself to this location? I'm a little bit confused how this new map is working. R is not working. C is not working. Place pin. It's not placing a pin. Hmm. I just see that's the thing. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if it's not working properly. Because it's definitely not routing me. So I guess we're going to go to exterior cargo and find our way around. Hello, NPC. I need to exit this building. I am so lost right now. I feel like the same way you feel when you park too far down in a parkade and you can't find the elevator to get out of the parkade, so you just take the ramps and you're walking for 15 minutes to find your way out. I see this is way over here. But the map to get to it is not letting me set a pin yet, so we're going to have to kind of manually find our way up there. If I could just find my way back to the lobby. Like, is there an elevator somewhere? That's nothing. Has anybody watching had luck with the map? Because this is not... just want to go here. R. Is that right? Hold R. Nope. Place pin. No. It's just not working. No markers. Oh, well, this is why we noted as EPTU. Is this an elevator? This feels like the wrong way, but we're going to keep going. Storehouse, exterior cargo. Come on, there's got to be an elevator up somewhere here. This is the whole point of that new map. This is at least going up. That's something.
That looks roughly like where we came in over there. Stairs. Stairs are good. Stairs down are not good. I want to go up. Oh. I'm just looking at the notes while I'm doing this. That there is an issue with the mapping not working properly. So it's not just us. I just need to find the way. The other option, of course, is just to do the coward's way out and just log out, log in. That could also work. Because I do not want to spend my entire play session trying to find my way out of this freaking facility. Because the map is not working. What's this? That's a bro. Oh, that's probably where enemies spawn, if there were some. That's nothing. Exterior cargo again. That doesn't help us. Let's try this on call area. Everything's functioning as far as like the in-game stuff. It's just the map's not letting us map our way out, unfortunately. Okay, I recognize this. This is where we came from. Okay, this is a start. We're going the right way. Came through that door. There should be elevators around here somewhere. This then? Nope. This is a elevator, but there's no screen. I was watching someone else's stream this morning. They got lost in one of these for a while because the map's not functioning. And it's just like jogging my memory now that I kind of knew this was going to happen. But it's okay. I think we came from this direction. So we just need to get up there. But I jumped down. Exit. Haha. -ha. Let's try this way. And we're going to go try some EVA after this because that's going to be just a whole lot of fun. All right. Stairs. Stairs are good. Oh my God, this is hopeless. So what you're supposed to be able to do in this patch is open your map, pick the spot you want to go, like the ship, click it, and then hold R to set route. Unfortunately, it's not letting us do that. Place pin. No. Unfortunately, not working properly. And the crazy thing is the ship is like right above us. It's just we can't seem to find the elevators again. I'll give it like another minute or so and then I'll literally just log out and put us back at the at the port. And then we'll just go from there because this is a waste of time in PTU. Especially if it's broken. Not that way. Well, that wasn't me. We came from like an upper level in here. And it's just not giving us the marker back. The elevators are up there. But how do we get back up there? Like up top there. We're looking for stairs. And the problem is it's actually easy to find the exit out of this area, like outside, but that doesn't 
take you up. There's no ladder or stairs that I can find that get you out of there. Super cool new sites. Just the mapping system is just not complete enough to get around in them. It's funny because everyone told me to avoid them. Like I was talking to other guys who were streaming this and they were all like, yeah, just avoid the distribution centers for now that they're they're not working properly. The missions aren't working properly. I saw some guys falling through the geometry. A um, lot of issues. Not ready for live yet, but extremely cool. If this was all combat, like if this right now was like enemies driving in here, this would be super cool. But everything's stuck on Global Armistice right now, so we can't do any of the combat missions because we can't draw a gun. So my ship's up there. Is there like an exterior ladder or something instead of going back through the building? Doesn't look like it. You'd think that coming in the entrance there would be like an immediate sign to elevators. Like, what's over here? Could this be one? Open? Nope. They just have this really, really cool, incomplete feeling. Because you come in this door... Like, even if I don't know how to get the map working and to get up to the ship, you'd think that somewhere right here there would be clearly marked elevators to get up from the supply level to the lobby level. Unfortunately, no dice. That NPC just opened that door. Alright, we're going to do the coward's way out. We're going to go back to the lobby, and we're going to log back in at the station, and we're going to go from there. I don't want to sit here on a stream lost in a distribution center for like an hour. So who else has been playing this? Anybody else had good luck with it or are they all having similar issues? Loading's a little slow right now. Can you let us in? There we go. Little hab. These, like I said, are not working yet. They've told us they're delayed a little bit. Oh, they're everywhere. That's almost too many of them. Like, they're literally on every surface. Um, I am not going to try Xenothreat in the current state of this. It keeps popping up, but I'm just not going to... It's not going to happen. Played about a half hour at a buddy's house. Flying and testing EVA, quite a few bugs. Yeah, yeah, it's it's PTU is always pretty buggy. This is of course very buggy. But it's still cool to kind of get an early peek at some stuff. Um get a feeling for the new flight model and stuff. Bit of an advantage when the actual patch comes out, so you got an idea of how to do stuff. So does the mapping just not work anywhere, or is it the distribution centers that's not working yet? Like, what if I set a map marker here? So we're in the hangar. Station. How would I map... There's supposed to be a way to open, like, like, like cross-section view should be working, and it's not either. I think that the map's hotkeys just aren't working properly. 
Because I should be able to map, like, zoom out and see all of the station, like the levels of the station. I've seen it tested several times. You open it, it shows you the levels, and then you can map yourself somewhere else in the station. That's just not working. I also can't place pins, and I can't row. So the map just seems a little buggy right now, which is unfortunate, because I, I could have used it to get out of that distribution center. They, it won't go live like this. Like this will, this will get patched out. Let's see if we can get a mission that involves EVA. I was looking for some of the newest investigation missions that popped out a couple patches ago that you actually investigate in space. Most of us avoid them because their EVA was so buggy. And so my hope was kind of that those would be functional enough with the new EVA to just go do one. But I had a hard time getting those to work. Okay, investigation. Missing person. Caterpillar, that's probably a ground site. Wreckage claim. Logistics depot, we just did one of those. Logistics A lot of missing people in logistics depots. That's That's concerning. Private Investigator, Crusader, we're not going to go that far. Benefits Claim, Cave. I wonder if Cave missions are working again, but we're not going to try right now because drawing a gun isn't working anywhere in the system. And so we can't defend ourselves if there's hostiles and we're just going to get sent back here. Remove hostile force from a work center. 21k starting out. 75k for narcotics missions. Apprehend Bounty, 34k in an inventory center. That's going to be cool when those work properly. Wildlife population adjustment. Go kill animals. Oh, should we just go see what those look like? Yeah, let's go see what those look like. All right. My conscience has a hard time with just murdering a bunch of animals, even though they're just freaking NPCs, but we're going to go check them out anyway. I don't know why my back door is still open. I'm hitting my hotkey for it, but it'll close itself when we get out there. I am not getting a marker again for this mission. That's just going to be PTU lag. We'll just give it a pop up. You say that until a pack of them try to eat you. Well, that's different. You're on a planet doing a mission. You get swarmed by a bunch of creatures, and obviously you're going to defend yourself. But something about going to a planet and going, hmm, birds. You know my first thought? Murder the birds. I always feel bad about that. No mission marker. Am I tracking it? I am tracking it. It's on Microtech. It doesn't give a sight because it's middle of nowhere, I'm sure. Why do I have no mission marker? Okay. Is it gonna if I swivel myself around, am I gonna see like a landing zone marker or something? No. It's just not spawning. Okay. Well let's give that a second to see if it pops up. For now, why don't we do this? Let's try the new EVA while we're here by a station. It's a player and a Corsair. So when we're out here doing this, are we running out of fuel yet? Or have they not done that yet? They haven't done that yet, all right. But check this out. Zoom out a little bit more. This movement is so much better. Once they give us like the packs that make it go faster, boost away, it's gonna make missions like Korea make a lot more sense. You get dropped off, you can boost yourself in towards the station, burn through your fuel. 
go inside, do the mission, replenish your fuel, and then boost back out to a safe distance because your buddy can't pick you up. This is so much better. <laughs> it's so much better. Oh, shit. We gotta do that again. That was so good. Straight to EVA. Flip around. Hot approach. Arms come out. That is the smoothest. That's way smoother than it was in Evo. That's phenomenal. All right. Despite the bugs, despite the issues in EPTU, that made that worth it. That was awesome. All right. We still have no marker for these uh, creatures, unfortunately. What else can we get to pop up? I'm wary to do combat without my custom keybinds, because I, I don't have these memorized. Like, space combat, I mean. And ground stuff, I don't think it's going to work, because everywhere has this armistice issue. Let's untrack and retrack. Is that going to do it? The map is very, very laggy. Just a fair warning, if it does go out like this, it's going to be a little bit rough. No, there's no marker for this mission. Alright, let's try a different one. Nav mode. Um, that's a good point. Do you have to be in nav mode for the markers to show up? I'm in nav mode. Still no mission marker, though. It was a good thought. It gives you all the ground sites and stuff, but I don't see the mission marker still, unfortunately. That's going to be a thing we're going to have to get used to, switching modes. Um, I know that Yogi said there's a bind coming for the middle the middle mouse button to do it as like a default, but you could also just set that yourself. If they if they don't do it by default, you could just make that your operator mode switch. Um, again, I'm not messing with the binds too much in PTU. It's just not worth the time. Staging points. Yeah, I want to go see some of these new ground sites that have all these new contacts in them but i'm not going to be able to defend myself at them because i can't draw a weapon remove hostile force logistics depot evasive bounty work center 134 grand that's that's better payout yeah i don't mind the changing modes it's more about memorizing the new bind that i'm talking about um Rex site on Calliope. Again, combat that we can't really do. Research. What do you got? Probe deployment? No. Priority. Xeno threat. Okay. Delivery. Retrieval op. Suppose we could go to car. So this is also shipping air. QT sensitive cargo. Pick up stuff that you can't jump with. That's new. Sweet. We could try a bounty hunter one, but I don't have any of my binds, so I'm deeply concerned about how that's going to perform. Oh, one thing I wanted to check out here. Are all guns now automatically gimbaled? Oh, it wouldn't be on this ship. They told us that. Yeah, search box the keybinds menu. A hundred and thirty-five thousand percent they do. So there's a lot of new missions that I'm wary to do without having memorized all these new binds. Um but I mean between the investigations working now, the ground sites having more diverse contacts. 
salvage missions paying less, but salvage selling paying more. Um, this is... It feels like it's going to be really, really fun and really immersive to play, but it's incredibly unstable right now in life. I'm going to try one more to see how... We can get guns working. I don't think they're going to, though. You know, I didn't actually check and see after I asked that question in testing chat if it actually started working. We should double check that. Because it might not be only me. It might be everybody. Where's my post? This chat is always so busy. to fire yeah okay so it's not just us armistice is a hundred percent happening thanks so nobody can draw firearms anywhere in the system right now that's just how it is so we can't do ground missions that really sucks because of how many of these new ground sites and missions for them there are. Like, I was really looking forward to trying some of that. Stay ourselves away from the station here, because it keeps playing combat music, and I feel like someone keeps targeting me. I'm definitely rebinding all of these. The way you map yourself to jump quantum now and stuff is not fun. Change is fine. It's not really a complaint here. It's just... I need... I need to change it for me. Are there any good space missions that we can do? Like I wanted like an 890 or something, because the EVA would be really fun for something like that. You know what I'm looking forward to is EVA combat. Like, imagine a mission where, like, you have to board a ship, but then there's guys leaving the ship and shooting at you. Or, um... I, I don't know, like, just that. But, like, some kind of, like, space marine combat would be really cool. Or, okay, you're flying through Pyro, you find an asteroid base that's derelict. You get out of your ship, you're EVAing around, you're finding loot, and you realize it's not derelict, the pirates have made up their base, and now they're EVAing through... There was a really cool mission in Starfield like that, where you did a casino mission... And the gravity was out, and as you were floating through, the spacers were kind of floating in EVA around you, and you were shooting each other, and as you fired, it blew you backwards. Um, that would be... That would be really, really cool in this game, and I feel like it's something they've probably thought of. That's a ground one. We can't do that, because guns aren't working. It's like every shipjack in Starfield. Well, no. So, like, if you boarded a ship to shipjack it, the gravity might not be out. You might just be moving through the corridor, which, by the way, was done incredibly smoothly. Like, I really, really hope that it's... The, I, granted, Starfield's, like, single players, loading screens. You load into the ship, so it's very smooth. I want to be able to board a hostile ship in this game and, and, and clear the ship out, like pirates or something, just like in Starfield. And if the gravity's out, then it was like that for sure. But... Uh, I, I hope that it gets that immersive. Racing's not going to work. Eh, I'll try one of these. I really wish this one was working. I wanted to go check out the creatures, but... Having some real issues tonight. Well, at least I got a marker for the bounty. I don't know how this is going to work, because like I said, all my custom binds are now changed. So I like all of my ship flight skill is going to be out the window here. I order myself some dinner while we're doing this. What do you think? Some kind of bowl? Oh, we're 
we're doing bowls. It's buy one, get one free at my uh, bowl place I usually go to. Give me a second to order some food here. We're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do a bowl. We're going to add some chicken to it. So, yeah. We're gonna add some veggies. No, it's got veggies. It's got cheese. We're going to add some bacon. Mm. A little bit of teriyaki sauce. This place I get bowls from has a buy one, get one free deal on right now. Meaning for... 24 bucks I can get two chicken bacon and cheddar bowls with like chickpeas and rice and all that stuff can't say no to that gotta get groceries And why why is it telling me my order is more than it should be? There we go. Food on the way. Let's see if we can actually fight this guy. This is what freaks me out about the new master modes is if you want to get in there at any kind of decent speed, you need to have travel mode on. But if you have travel mode on, your shields are offline. You gotta time it really well. Like everything you know about flight and targeting kind of goes out the window in this patch. And I'm gonna have to change like my bindings for like swapping these and stuff because I, like I said, I fly with my gamepad. So, like I'm gonna have to find a binding for for switch modes on my gamepad that makes sense to me. There'll be a lot of trial and error for sure. All right, shields come back. Look how fast shields come up. So that's something worth noting. That part does work. Oh, is he on the ground? We can't use ground guns right now. Please tell me he's in the air over this thing. Where is he? See, I can't tell if he's underground or what. Is he on foot? What is happening here? What? Is he just walking across the planet's surface? Holy crap, he is. Oh my god, they're mapping them across the planetary surface, guys. Oh, come on. The splash damage on that should be killing him 100%. Objective failed. I'm not quite sure how that was failed since I just blew him up with cannons, but all right. That's just a bug. We are going to go take that gear, though. But there's no capture option yet. It's a valid point, capture, but they don't. The, the arresting option doesn't exist in the game yet. I'm really looking forward to that, though. Like in cap arrest, that's gonna be a lot of fun. What was he wearing? What is this? Oh yeah, Crouch is seen now. Oh come on. What is happening with this frickin' patch? Uh, I wanted to loot him and he phased through the ground. He's gone. I don't think he's still here somewhere. You guys saw that, right? 
But when I was shooting at him, he had a backpack on and a gun. So I don't know if it was a prison suit. I think it was actually a yellow Arden set is what it looked like, which I've never seen before. There's his gun. Can I pick it up an armistice? Nope. Oh, I can't even put it on my... There's local here. Oh, selection points are up there. Okay, that's good to know. These have local. So there is still local inventory in this patch, despite what we were told. Like, we were told it was going to be all physicalized. So we know that inventory is going all physicalized. They've kind of been clear about that. Unless we've all misunderstood, we talk about this a lot. Inventory is going to physicalize, where hitting I will not open ship local in the future. I kind of want them to leave it. I understand immersion. I kind of just want video game inventory. If they take that away, they have to add good points for it. For instance, the item banks to make that happen. But for now, it looks like these new bunkers have local inventory. So if we go through those and strip them of, of like guard armor and stuff, it looks like they'll still be viable this patch. So that's worth noting. I don't know why that was a mission failed, though. Uh, contracts... History, mercenary, nope, bounty hunter. Locate, neutralize. Okay. So I don't know why that failed for us, because we definitely need to locate it and neutralize him, but let's just chalk it up to PTU. So we've seen EVA. We can't see ground combat because guns aren't working this patch. We've seen... Master Modes, Mode Switching. The new Storm Mechanic. Vulcan, which I turned off because it's still kind of buggy. It's making everything flicker in my FPS drop, but it's cool to know that it's in. The new limiter thing is weird. Basically, you have to throttle up, switch to traversal mode, then hit cruise control. It's a it's it's basically a sticky cruise control now. You can't just toggle it. You have to throttle it up. It's like turning on cruise control in your car now, as opposed to auto, it's not autopilot anymore. It's actually like a cruise control now. It, it takes some getting used to. So most missions are not working for us. I'm going to chalk this up to PTU. I'm sure it'll work eventually. I really want to go do this wildlife one to check out the new creatures, but it's refusing to give us a marker of where to go. Let's try one more time. No, no marker. I suppose we could just go land somewhere random, see if we can find some. Because otherwise, it's it's proving difficult to get stuff done. Verified versus unverified. Oh, legal versus illegal. Interesting. Hacking missions are here still. They're paying a bit more. These are some new mission types. I'm just seeing some I've never actually seen before. A lot of new missions. It's hard to try most of these right now because we can't do ground combat in this patch, but this is... This is cool. This is really cool. Cut the salvage is 20k. Where'd you see that one? Salvage. Oh, the illegal. All right. What was the cleanup for it before for the cuts? Was it like 50, 30 or 50 or something like that?
Cutlass was 80k. 250 for the hammerhead. Yeah, it's 30k for the hammerhead now. But the thing is, that's meant to be like that makes sense, honestly. Like, you're being paid a little bit to get rid of it, and then your profit is because you actually do the salvage. They were paying us way too much to just gut the thing and get rid of it. Trying to get some guys coordinated in chat to start doing some group stuff. Change is good. Yeah, it was way too easy. I will not be doing the salvage on the cargo and solid salvage. You know what? I have a reclaimer for our group. Uh, it's really good for a patch like this to get a full crew together and go out and do the full strip, the full munch, all that stuff. The problem with the reclaimer is they need they need the cargo grid to start working properly. They need a way to transfer the stuff around they need the value of what you're selling to go up in some places like a dynamic market is coming where maybe you would jump to a different star system to sell it or go uh go salvage in stanton to get free construction materials and then take it to pyro where a base is being built and they're offering more for it the guns and the modules need to go up in value once the reclaimer is working properly can dock with orbital stations and the cargo grid is working in the cargo bay properly then I will 100% salvage more with a full crew. Sweet. I really can't wait to try more of these in live with like bindings and stuff working properly. Ghost Hollows there. You know what I'm curious about? We're going to try something. I'm wondering if any of the new sites are now working over at Crusader. Like, like we had um, Whistler's Crypt before, and that's gone. We know they're working over here. How many places have these? Like, is it only places with atmosphere? So then will we not have them on, say, the Gas Giant? I guess we're not going to jump over there. I'm just looking it up as we're talking. I probably, you know what I should do? I should probably set up a split screen uh, scene on Twitch. So if I bring up the internet to like look at something, I can show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm not just sitting here staring at my screen. Do like a little um, like a screen here and a screen here. So it splits to the game and then what I'm looking up. I'll set one up later. For now, I was just really hoping that we would find one, like one of the new missions for creatures that's working. What was that under? Was that under Mercenary? Remove hostile force. God, I want these to work. So badly. Apprehend bounty. These are going to be cool when we can actually arrest them. Wildlife population. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. Does this one work? I'm not getting... Wait, what's that? New objective. It should be a yellow marker. Uh, looks like these ones just aren't spawning. That's frustrating. Well, why don't we just fly to a new ground base and see if we can find some? That seems like something that'll work. Um... Master's clearing. I'm sure there's some around there somewhere. Did anybody watch that Netflix original show Rebel Moon? Came out like I think it was last year or something. It was part one of two. It's actually pretty good. 
I don't think it's based on a book or anything. Didn't at least when I looked it up, it wasn't. I think it's actually just like an original series uh, or film. Uh, the second part of it comes out tomorrow. I'm just a sci-fi guy. Any new sci-fi that comes out, I'll give it a chance. Sometimes it's garbage, but I'll always give it a shot. This is going to be a learning curve for us for sure, learning when to switch modes and stuff. It doesn't automatically switch when you throttle down or something. You have to throttle back and switch modes. And it's going to it's going to be it's going to take us some time. But I do really like the new marker system. I think it's a way nicer font. I think it's easier to read. All right. So on approach here, we're going to leave nav mode to slow ourselves down quickly in case there's hostiles. This makes our guns function, our shields come back up very quickly, so that concern's kind of gone. Throttle ourselves down. You know, third person, it looks better on stream. And the reason we're doing this, oh, this slowed us. So when you lower your landing gear, this is how much it slows you down. Like crazy. They've really down throttled you now. This I'm throttled up to maximum with my, um, or at least maximum without boost, with my landing gear down, and it really slows you. So the reason we're doing this is one, I'm trying to get used to the PTU binds because they've like completely changed, and two, I want to try to find some of those creatures, but the missions to go find them aren't functioning. They're not giving me the markers. So let's just see if we can track some down. This would be a good time for the uh, Carrick and like a uh, Ursa or something. Once you have the ship markers, uh, a couple of patches from now, being able to mark the Carrick, go out in the Ursa and drive around looking for stuff like this. Because I want to find a future where you land your exploration ship, your Carrick, and you... Ooh, FPS is plummeting here. You land your Carrick, you get out in your, um, your Ursa, and you just drive, and you might find a crash site no one's found before, or a cave with cool loot, or creatures or just stuff to do in the middle of nowhere is going to be a real thing uh which way this way i wonder if they spawn in the settlements and still can't draw guns so that's definitely a permanent thing no hand to hand i hear I heard something. Do you guys hear that? Okay, something's going on here. How did anybody kill these guys if all oh, they must have used their ship? Because you can't, um. Oh, shit. Right there. That's why they're dead. Uh. Hello. That's a lot of them. They are reacting to me. Should I let them kill me or go back to my ship? I feel like if they were reacting properly, I'd be dead by now. Folks, oh, we call poor life decision. But what's crazy is I actually heard them. So that, that was almost, that was super immersive, right? You walk in, you're like, why are these guys all dead? What happened here? And then you, you hear like a, a rumbling and you look around, there's a bunch of basically lions just watching you from a hill, and I only survived because the game's buggy right now.
Ugh. My usual keybinds are inverted, and they're not by default in the PTU, so flying is actually super difficult for me right now. Oh, they're still marked down there. Ballistic guns do actually overheat now. That's something interesting. Ah, oh, stock keybinds. God damn. Durable little things, aren't they? Are they just part of the train? Like, can they not be killed right now? They're not reacting. The shots are hitting all around them. They're going right through them. Yeah, okay. That's probably why the missions aren't showing up. That was cool to find, though. To find that they're just kind of randomly there. All right, what do we manage to check out for this like first day of this new PTU patch? EVA, solid. Map, mostly solid, but some issues with uh, search not working all the time and missions not showing up. That's just PTU stuff. Distribution centers, incredibly cool. Again, mapping issues, couldn't map back to the ship, but the distribution center was not the actual issue. Um, new ground missions, new space missions, New salvage missions, new animal missions, new animals. We've seen all of that stuff. Um, what could we not try? New ground combat. Uh, couldn't appreciate new space combat because of the keybind changes. That's more of a me thing. I just got to kind of get accustomed to it or wait till it comes to live. Uh, master modes. Keybinds are a little interesting. Um... Am I going to try reading commander for the ship AI changes? Uh, not tonight because of the keybind thing I brought up. My flight skill would be horrific because I can't. Like, I, I, I'm not going to reset all my keybinds to how I normally have them. I tried copying them over from the file and they're not working. So I would literally just die left, right, and center. But we'll definitely be trying that as a group on stream when it goes live. Um, the only other thing I can think of that's worth taking a look at would be. The interior maps in places, but we know that we can't set the pins, so they kind of they lose their their purpose, I think. And if there was any space investigations, logistics, distribution, logistics. There's a lot of people missing in these centers. Crusader, that'd be a cool one. We'll do that one next time. Traveling through Gundo, they're gonna have more places like that. They said, and caves. But we can't really do that because we can't defend ourselves. So why don't we do this? This has been almost a three hour stream, but of all the bugs and stuff of uh, of 3.23. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to have some food. And then I'm going to jump into the PU with uh, some guys from our org and just do some fun stuff for anybody who wants to join us. I will wait until the next PTU patch on EPTU Wave 2 to stream it again, because this is not unplayable, but it's not the most streamable. Like, it's been a little rough tonight. Um, and we'll go from there. We'll just kind of keep trying this out. We'll just keep, keep iterating on it. I will be making... Uploading, sorry, not making. They're done. Two videos to YouTube tomorrow. Um, one is on the new water tech they talked about today. One is on some of the 3.23 features that I was playing with earlier today. Um, I will not be doing a live watching party for the cargo Star Citizen Live they're doing. I'll just kind of recap it later on. And then hopefully this weekend, they get another PTU patch out that's working better. 
And maybe then we'll try a Xeno Threat run through in PTU if a few more guys that I know get access. Um, till then, guys watching on YouTube, thank you. It's a newer platform for me. I uh, appreciate all the follows and stuff. Twitch, always appreciate the subscribes, um, follows, whatever you call them. And anybody who was watching and wants to talk more about this stuff, there's a link to our Discord in the chat here, as well as in the description, as well as in my bio. No obligation, but you can always join Discord and we can have these conversations. Um, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I will catch everyone on the next one.